Imagine a world where lush greenery climbs skyward, not just in fields, but in layers upon layers up into the sky. This isn't science fiction, it's vertical farming, a revolutionary approach poised to transform how we grow our food. Traditional farming consumes about 70% of the planet's accessible freshwater and vast tracts of land, often leading to deforestation and loss of biodiversity. In contrast, vertical farming presents a sustainable and efficient alternative. Vertical farming allows us to produce crops in stacked layers, often inside controlled environments. This method maximizes space and can be implemented anywhere from urban rooftops to old warehouses. It dramatically reduces the use of water, eliminates the need for pesticides and can provide fresh produce all year round directly to urban populations. As populations grow and urbanize, and as the stress on traditional farming increases due to climate change, vertical farming offers a beacon of sustainability. It not only aims to reduce the ecological footprint of agriculture, but also seeks to solve food security issues in growing urban centers globally. Vertical farming is a technique of growing crops in vertically stacked layers. It integrates several agriculture technologies, including hydroponics, aquaponics, and aeroponics, with modern technologies to create a controlled environment agriculture, CEA. This approach allows for optimal plant growth, with nutrient delivery tailored to each plant's needs. The core idea is to produce more food per square meter than traditional farming. By stacking layers of growth systems, Vertical farms can increase the yield per square meter by a factor of 10 or more compared to traditional farms. This method is particularly effective for leafy greens, herbs and small fruits which are in high demand in urban settings. Moreover, vertical farming can be done indoors using artificial light or a combination of natural and supplemental lighting. This setup isolates the crops from the external environment reducing the risks of disease and pests and eliminating the need for chemical pesticides, thereby providing cleaner, healthier produce. The backbone of vertical farming is its cutting-edge technology. Hydroponics, for instance, involves growing plants in a nutrient-rich water solution, eliminating the need for soil. This method not only conserves water, but also speeds up the growth cycle of the plants. Aeroponics, another innovative technology, mists the roots of the plants with nutrients, which reduces water usage by up to 98% compared to conventional methods. Sophisticated climate control systems are another crucial aspect. These systems manage temperature, humidity and light levels to create ideal growing conditions year-round. Such control not only enhances growth rates and yields, but also ensures consistent quality, which is often not achievable in traditional farming due to variable weather conditions. Additionally, vertical farms often employ advanced robotics and artificial intelligence to plant, monitor and harvest crops. These technologies reduce labor costs and improve efficiency, precision and scalability. Sensors can detect plant diseases early and automated systems can adjust environmental parameters in real time, tailored to the needs of specific plant species. Vertical farming offers significant environmental benefits over traditional agriculture. Most notably, it uses up to 90% less water. This is crucial in a world where water scarcity affects over 2 billion people. By recycling water in closed systems, vertical farms ensure minimal wastage and contamination. Moreover, since vertical farms can be established in urban areas, they reduce the need for transportation from rural farms to city markets. This reduction in transport not only lowers greenhouse gas emissions, but also decreases pollution and road congestion. It ensures that produce is fresher and less energy is used in its distribution. Furthermore, vertical farming contributes to biodiversity conservation by reducing the need for new agricultural land. This helps preserve natural habitats and decreases the use of pesticides, which can be harmful to wildlife. By controlling pests through physical barriers and biological controls instead of chemicals, vertical farming promotes a healthier ecosystem. 
Section 5. Economic Advantages Vertical farming can also be economically advantageous. It allows for higher yields in a smaller area, which is essential in urban environments where space is a premium commodity. The controlled environment reduces the risk of crop failure due to pests, diseases or extreme weather events, leading to more stable production and income. The proximity of vertical farms to urban centres reduces transportation costs and spoilage, making farming more profitable and produce more affordable. Additionally, the ability to grow crops year-round leads to increased production cycles and hence potentially higher annual revenues compared to seasonal traditional farming. Besides, vertical farming can create new employment opportunities in technology, agriculture and supply chain management within urban areas. This employment generation contributes to the local economy and supports community development, making cities more self-sufficient and resilient in terms of food production. In our journey through the world of vertical farming, let's explore some global case studies that stand as beacons of success. In Singapore, a country with limited agricultural land, vertical farming has become a strategic approach to enhancing food security. Sky Greens, Singapore's first commercial vertical farm, is a prime example. It produces vegetables using just a fraction of the land and water compared to traditional farms. The farm utilizes a patented hydraulic-driven system that rotates crops, ensuring they receive even sunlight, which enhances growth efficiency and yield. Moving over to the United States, Aero Farms, based in Newark, New Jersey, operates one of the largest indoor vertical farms in the world. This facility grows greens using aeroponics and LED lighting and impressively produces over 2 million pounds of leafy greens annually without the need for sunlight or soil. With a focus on sustainability, Aero Farms' system uses 95% less water than field farming. Meanwhile, in Sweden, Companies like Plantagon are taking innovative steps by proposing plans to integrate vertical farms into office buildings, providing fresh produce to urban dwellers while also improving air quality and building efficiency. These examples highlight the adaptability of vertical farming to meet specific local needs and conditions around the globe. Despite its numerous benefits, vertical farming faces several challenges and limitations that must be acknowledged. The initial setup costs of vertical farms can be quite high, requiring sophisticated technologies and infrastructure. This high cost can serve as a barrier to entry for many potential farmers and investors, especially in developing countries where capital is often scarce. Another significant issue is energy consumption. The reliance on artificial lighting and climate control systems can lead to high energy use, which may offset some of the environmental benefits if the energy is not sourced from renewable resources. Therefore, integrating sustainable energy sources is crucial for the long-term viability of vertical farms. Moreover, while vertical farming is suitable for certain types of crops, it is not yet viable for staple crops like wheat, rice and corn which are essential for global food security. To overcome these limitations, ongoing research and innovation are needed to expand the range of crops that can be efficiently grown in vertical systems. Looking towards the future, the prospects for vertical farming are indeed promising, with technological advancements continually improving its efficiency and feasibility. Innovations in LED lighting, for instance, are reducing energy costs significantly, while developments in genetic engineering and plant science could expand the variety of crops suitable for vertical farming. As urban populations continue to grow, the integration of vertical farms into the urban landscape could become a standard feature. These farms not only provide food but also contribute positively to the urban ecosystem improving air quality and reducing urban heat islands. Additionally, the growing interest in local and sustainable food sources is likely to increase demand for produce from vertical farms. Looking ahead, the expansion of vertical farming could play a crucial role in addressing global challenges such as food security, water scarcity and climate change.
With continued investment and research, vertical farming has the potential to revolutionize our food systems and make cities more sustainable and self-sufficient. Vertical farming represents more than just an innovation in agriculture. It's a potential revolution in how we think about food production. By bringing farms into urban centers, we not only reduce the environmental impact of agriculture, but also build a more sustainable, resilient food system. The journey of vertical farming is still in its early stages, and while challenges remain, the prospects are profoundly optimistic. As this method evolves, it could help us meet the growing food demands of a burgeoning global population while protecting the planet. Vertical farming is not just about growing upwards, it's about thinking forward, towards a greener, more sustainable future.